Yeah, I, I understand. I know. I know. He, I know he's very busy. I can imagine. But I just need to talk to him for a minute, please. It's an emergency. You just tell him it's Dominic from Foodies Television, please. Just a minute. Thank you. Yeah, I'll wait. Yeah. Rico, it's Dominic from Foodies. Yeah, I know you slammed. I know you slammed, buddy. You got a dining room full of people. She already told me. But I need your help. What's wrong? I have a foodies fan party going on right now. I get to the location. I'm supposed to prepare breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a dessert. And all they have for me is a brick oven. I'm lost. I don't know this thing upside down from sideways. You're the brick oven king, man. I need you. Please, I need you to come out. Can you get somebody to cover? Please, Rico. Oh, OK. I'll see you in a half hour. Oh, thank you. Thank you. OK. Dominic, I'm Rico. here. What's going on? Where you been, buddy? How you said you'd be here in a half hour. Well, it was 29 minutes ago. <laughs> you got that knife in your hand, huh? Oh, no. Take it easy. Take it easy. Don't worry. What's going on? That's What's going on? That's don't Japanese. Worry. Us oh. Italians, we don't do that shtick. All right. <laughs> What's I, happening? I got a menu. The menu is we're doing a frittata. Okay? Oh, beautiful. It's nice, but I mean, I'm working with a with a brick oven. I don't know what I'm doing here. It's beautiful. a frittata. Don't worry it's about a, a thing. Egg quiche. Then I've got a nice uh, lamb right here, okay? Mm -hmm. okay. Like a lamb. What else are we doing? We're doing uh, a terrific focaccia, dessert pizza, okay. really nice. And uh, we're doing some um, some mussels for him as well. Beautiful, you, you know, and a regular the, pizza too. All the ingredients are here. Everything looks pretty much, wow, pretty you much. Got some it's nice just stuff over here. I just, like I said, I don't know heads from tails with, wow. with this thing. You're gonna love cooking in this thing. Don't worry about a thing. You will love it. Yeah, You'll famous last words, Rico. So what do you want? The lamb's probably going to take the longest, so maybe we should start with this. Yeah, all right. All You're right. the boss. Let's, let's um, do got it. Got some fresh herbs. Lamb, fresh herbs. How about some, would you take some of this uh, rosemary and sage, just break it just up a little bit? Okay. Just um, no take problem. it up and uh, take a piece okay. and go from the top oh, right better. to the bottom. There you go. Get all the stems there off. There you go. Okay, I got you. Some, there's some sage over here. Okay. Make a little pile. Yep. Okay. A little pile, huh? I see some garlic over there. You want to grab some garlic? Okay. How heavy do you want to go? How much garlic do you like? No, not too much. But <laughs> the love, foodie's in the other I room, know. Rico. The foodie's in the a other couple, room. A couple cloves, at least. You know? Put it, put it together. All of it? Yeah, all of it together. Another clove of garlic. Whew. Come on. And then a big handful of salt right in the middle over there. Big handful? A handful of salt. We got a big, like a lamb to, to cover over here. There you go. And some pepper, fresh okay. cracked pepper, beautiful. Mm -hmm. And just give that a rough chop. Don't hurt yourself with that knife now. <laughs> yeah. I'll f Let me tell you something. At the end of this, we'll all know how well we did. Can you start smelling that now when you get the, the garlic and the herbs together like that? Do you smell that? All I can smell is my nerves. <laughs> they got all these foodies in the other room and they expect a great Don't party and I got a brick it. oven Don't behind me that's, that's giving me a third degree sunburn. You know what I mean? You're, you're almost there. A little bit, a little bit more. The, the salt's drawing out the water from the, from the garlic and the, and the herbs. It's all coming together. Thank you. Yeah. What else? Anything? I think you're almost there. It just save us both a lot of pain to strangle me with that thing. You're good. All right. You're good. Now what? Now we're going to give this a little herb jacuzzi. Just put it all over the place. All right. All right. Terrific. You have some olive oil around here? I, I think, think so. Right on, some down here. Some right underneath. A little, little drink of olive oil. and. It's starting uh, to look pretty good. We need a big heavy pot. You I got big, one. I got beautiful. one. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Nice, terrific pot right here. Okay. So, everybody into the pool. <laughs> what else is going in? How about some vino? Oh, yeah. White wine? You have white wine around? Yeah, we got some. Oh, Let me beautiful. fish around. 
Now, you want the Irish amount or the Italian amount? <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. That's good. That's good. All right. So this is going to go right in. This, this will take is going to go right in. It's going to take about an hour. We'll put it off. The, we'll check in a little while. We'll put it off to the side. Well, while this is in there, can we do something else? Oh yeah, we're going to do a lot of a lot of things. Well, you want to do the frittata next? Maybe give him something to nosh on. You know, while okay. this is in the oven. All okay. right. I'm going to cap it off. Right. Cap it off. Okay. And uh, we have a, the brick oven over here. There's a a little method to the madness. What's going on over here? But once you understand it, oh, yeah. it's no problem. We have the. The fire over here is pushed off to the side, and then there's like a beehive-shaped yep. crown on the oven. I can see So that. the heat's going to be rotating around, so it's almost like a convection going oh. on right there. So the heat goes up, over, and around. So it's not that different than exactly. a oven, huh? Exactly, exactly. Okay. And obviously, the closer you put this to the fire, mm -hmm. the more heat you're going to get. Right. You know, we can actually, if we were putting this right here, yep. we can start feeling the heat. It would start cooking right there if we wanted to cook it for like seven, ten hours. Okay. But we'll get this done in about Slow an cooking. hour, yeah. hour and 15 minutes or I so. I don't think they can wait. <laughs> so we'll just tuck this, say goodnight back there. All right. And uh, we'll start on, want to do a frittata next? Yeah, let's do a frittata. Okay. Um, what do we need? We, do we need eggs. We got them. Eggs. Okay. Let's chop them up. All right. How many are we doing? Crack about four eggs. Okay. Clean up for you. Mm-hmm. Appreciate it. How's it going at Cedar Street? You've been pretty busy, huh? We've been busy. It's been good. Um, we're just getting going out there, and uh, things are picking up. So, Rico, it's I've a been lot there. I've been there seven times. Every time <laughs> I'm there, the food is better and better. It's Thank just you very awesome. much. Awesome. I need we're something really to whisk this up with. Yep. What else do we need besides eggs? You got four eggs. Whisk it up pretty good. Let's grab some uh, pinch of salt. Okay. Pinch of pepper. And just give me a little pinch of flour in there too. Okay. I see some zucchini over there. Oh, and I see some bacon. Bacon and eggs always go well together. Hey, why not? The flour in the eggs is gonna make it uh, a little more dense, so it's not gonna puff up so much. I wanna make this nice and thin and nice, okay. and, and, nice and light and thin. Kind of a dense quiche. Exactly. You know, when I was young, my aunt used to make a thick, airy quiche. I like the, the dense ones that my mother used to make. All right, call the frittata, not quiche. Bacon? Nope. Not yet? Not yet. Okay. What else? Now we're going to cook this. We're not going to cook it in the bowl. We're going to cook it in this frying pan over okay. here. I see this beautiful, it's in a nonstick frying pan. Nice. Uh, handle on it. The whole thing can go right in the oven. You can put the whole thing right in the oven. right in the oven. So let's okay. take some zucchini. Okay. You got a mandolin down there? I do. I can slice it either way you like it, you know? Take this. So we'll just go, up. how many you want? Watch your fingers. Go nice and easy. Watch your fingers. Three, two, one. That's good. Okay. So, this is nice. Put that right in the frying pan. Hey, it's sizzling already. Sizzling already. All you did was put that up put there it right for next to the half fire. a minute. Some olive oil. I'm getting the idea that the brick oven is pretty efficient. Oh, it's wonderful. I mean, efficient, when I say efficient, I mean you get things done quick. I don't like wasting time. If I'm now we can to. put some bacon. Okay. And the foodies love to eat, Rico. Mm -hmm. They're all in the other room. I ask them what's going on back here. How's that? Is that good? Good. Let's. Uh, there is a little salt in the bacon, but let's season the bit zucchini more. just a little bit with just a little bit of salt and just a little bit of pepper. This Still is kosher. that layers of seasoning. Okay. There we go. Okay. And now we can put the uh, eggs in. Okay. How long do you think this is going to take, Rico? This will only take two or three minutes at the most. Well, you know, when this is in there, you know, maybe we can start prepping something else, huh? Absolutely. And we got to do a pizza. Oh, I see some pizza dough over there. All right, you got insurance for this All kind right, of thing. I'm I don't want to get near that fire. There. Don't worry. Okay, pizza dough. Look at this. We're on to the third item already. Are you kidding? So, we're going to need, we need some flour. Is this good enough? Yeah. You want to use another um, cutting board or is this good? You want to do a classic pizza margarita? Yeah. All right. Let's yeah. do that. that pizza dough? Yep. Yeah. Little flour? A little flour on the board. That's plenty. Okay. You don't have to roll this out, right? 
No, the pizza looks pretty good. Uh, pizza dough looks pretty good over there. The dough's been relaxing a little bit. You just want to press it down with your fingers and uh, stretch it out with your hands and kind of. You know, they don't in Italy. They don't. They don't roll them out. They just like you do. They just. They just you know. Take your time, mm -hmm. nice and easy. Yeah. Don't worry about it. It's not too difficult. All right. Hungry people. Right I know. Now. Don't worry. Hungry, you know. You know, being a chef. The frittata's know. almost done. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. That is almost done. It is. Okay, what goes okay. on top of this bad boy right here? Tomatoes. You, you want me to cut, to cut up them? some tomatoes for me? Okay. Just cut them in half. Now you're gonna use the, the flavorful tomatoes, right? Yep. Okay. You can use a little bit of tomato sauce, you can use fresh tomatoes from the garden, whatever you like. Well, these are the, um, the grape tomatoes, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Okay. Well, I like the grape tomatoes. I think they got a lot of nice flavor, and you know when they're when they're cooked a bit, they have that stew quality. Tastes really good. How are we doing? Any more? A few more. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Okay. Margarita pizza margarita is just pizza margarita. Olive oil, Name tomatoes. Name after the queen margarita. That's right. Simple cheese, Olive right? oil, yeah. tomato, mm -hmm. basil, mozzarella cheese. That's basically I love it. it. I love we have it. a little, I see some Parmesan cheese there too, so maybe we'll put some of that on. Okay. But let's take a look at this frittata, Dominic. Look at how beautiful this is. That's done. That's beautiful, huh? Terrific. Do you have a plate for that? Actually, yes, I do. Let's get it going. Nice. Beautiful. That's nice. That's nice. Well, how about a little garnish? Ooh, you want to do some chives over there? Make it look pretty. Just maybe a little cheese. Okay. And how about one more time with just my favorite ingredient, olive oil. Okay. Just a little over the top. All right, perfect. So we still got it. Olive oil tastes different when it's fresh, just like this, than when it's cooked. So we get two different types of flavors with the olive yep. oil, and that's it. Drizzle. All right, perfect. Hey, listen. Tell you what. Um, let's put this aside. Let's finish dressing this guy up a little bit. What else do we need to do? First of all, we'll build it on the pizza peel. Yep. We need to put something on the bottom over here so we get some ball bearing action going. There's some semolina flour all there, right. perfect. I'm gonna make some room, no problem. Put we'll little, get this all dressed up. Here we go. Put a decent amount of semolina on there. Good. Transfer this on. Okay. There you go. Okay, you want me to top this off while? Uh, yeah, let's okay. get some uh, mozzarella cheese. Mm-hmm. Good, yeah. good. Very nice. Not too much. Nope. Fill in the gaps. Sure. This is the best. This is, uh, they call this buffalo mozzarella. It's beautiful. Yep. In Italian. It's, it tastes so good. The, the, the texture to it, Rico, you know? Use a lot of this at Cedar Street? Uh, we do. We, we like to use, a, there's a new fads. Everybody loves different types of cheeses, but there's a, the classic uh, tomato, mm. mozzarella, and oh, basil. Yeah. will never die, you know? The, the caprese. Yeah, nice. I'm going to put a little bit more, only because it's how I like it. I'm sure they'll like it out there. I'm sure. Some people don't, but I like to season the pizza. Just a mm -hmm. little bit of salt and pepper, not too much. Okay. And now we'll grab some olive oil. Okay. I'm going to put a little pepperoncini in there, just a drop. Pepperoncini, nice. This is the hot stuff. <clears throat> what are we missing? Anything green? We're going to put the basil on after it comes out in the oven. Keep Good. the basil nice and fresh. The yeah. residual heat from the pizza will yeah. meld it right in. Yeah, it'll... yeah. Otherwise, it'll, okay. it'll, it'll get much See? too dry. Okay. The semolina gives it a little shaky, shaky, and it... Uh, Perfect. So easily slide right in the stay oven. Stay loose. You're going to put that in? Yep. These foodies... These foodies fans you... out there are pretty hungry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this. I'm going to take it out there, give them something to nosh on. Okay. I'll be back. By the time I'm back, that ought to be done, right? Two minutes, this will be done. See you in two. All right.
At Hometown Bank, we know we're part of a bigger community where good customer service is our trademark. So we make it our priority to do our very best for you. We always greet you with a smile and handle your banking needs promptly. It's all about making your life easier, so you have time to pass that smile along. Hometown Bank, it's the way banking should be. Hometown Bank, the way banking should be. They love that pizza. Nice. They ate it up. They like it? They almost bit my good. fingers off. Good, good. Now they want something else, Rico. <laughs> well, let's give them some uh, we got we the, got we beautiful got, muscles. We, we got, got the muscles. Coats, eh? Yeah, the muscles. Okay. Very we nice got dish. got a little oven-proof dish over here. Grab some mussels. I tell you, I can't believe how well it's going. You know, I thought I was uh, in big trouble. Are you calming down a little bit now? A little bit now. You're but a little you know, nervous when I got here. When, it, when I'm walking out and all the Foodies fans are happy and everybody's happy, then you'll see a smile. I'm going to go back to Cedar Street and have a glass of wine. Amen. All right. So we'll give them a little bit of muscles. In this, we're going to do one stop yeah. um, cooking right here. So okay. everything's going to go in this and then we're going to throw it in the oven. It should take a couple minutes. So how do you want me to prep? we got to have some garlic. Let's try okay. to, you know. Same thing, right? Some garlic, same kind of thing. Just yeah. give it a little crush, throw it right in. Some pepperoncino, a little red oh, crushed yeah. pepper. This is the good stuff. Oh, I see some um, roasted red peppers right there. Why don't you oh, grab nice. a few of those, chop that up, just throw it in. Okay. Besides this, can we put something a little citrusy in? I know we got lemons. We could throw, well, lemons and uh, some white wine, of course. White wine and mussels is a classic combination. So. Of course. That's some olive the, uh, oil. That's the ricetta napolitano. Okay, so this one here, we're just going to do it in sections? Yep, just mince it up. Give it a... Small. A little smaller than that. There you go. A little smaller? Give it a, give a squeeze of a lemon. Good. And then throw a whole... Lemon segment in there too, it'll roast up nice. Good. So this is gonna take only a, just a minute or two, huh? Exactly. Where'd that wine go? Here we go. And some white wine. I love this, Good. it's so simple, Rico. Everybody's loving a simple dish. We're gonna, I'm gonna remove a couple of lemons. I gotta give room for the mussels to open up. All right, so all right. We'll just do if that. you insist. <laughs> so. Hey, but you know what so for dessert, one? the dessert was going to be a focaccia, focaccia you want to do the It's pretty similar to the pizza, except okay. we're just going to put a little sweetness to it. And uh, on the sweeter I saw side. some grapes over here that we can use. What are you going to do with that on a focaccia pizza? Well, we're going to do some grapes. I, ha I have some um, cinnamon sugar, and then we'll drizzle a little balsamic reduction on the bottom of it. Okay. And this, the focaccia, is going to be a little bit different. We're not going to cook it on the surface of the oven. We're gonna cook it in a pan and we're gonna get it drunk with a little bit of more olive oil. <laughs> get it drunk with olive oil? When you go in here, just use your finger, use your fingertips. Mm -hmm. Makes the holes for the olive oil to sink into. Ah, yeah. There you go. That's the thing, that's a distinction about focaccia. Right? Exactly, there it's you go. These little, like that. Bucatini for olive oil, those little holes. Okay. So just another oven proof pan. Yeah. We'll slide that right on. Got it. Drizzle, olive drizzle. oil, good amount of olive oil too. Can take a lot of olive oil. Okay. Good. Perfect. Um, salt, pepper, just a little bit. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Cinnamon sugar? Oh, cinnamon sugar. Equal parts cinnamon and sugar. Okay. A little savory. Very nice. That's good. And uh, some grapes. Hey, are we going to roast these up? We could roast them or we could leave them whole. You okay. want to roast them up? I want to give it a real right. deep, sugary dessert flavor. You know? All right. That's great. We'll put them right in. Should we break them or are they going to be fine? They'll be fine, though. Always with olive oil. Huh? Just a little bit of olive oil. Muscles are about done. They are. Terrific. We're going to get a hold of them. I could probably reach in there. If I was. was it... No. No? You can burn yourself. Okay. You got one of these. I was getting a little bit overconfident. <laughs> See how the muscles are opening They're up? They're open already. Starting to bubble. Rico, we just put those in. I can't get over I know. Them. When you do small plates, hot and cold, at Cedar Street. Yes. I, do you do anything seafood like this? We do a lot of seafood. I, we cook right in these uh, mm. ovenware dishes, put them right on the grill. We do some yeah. shrimp. Mussels are always a big seller. Yeah. Um, and cold plates, we build off the, the salad station, antipasti station kind of. Thing. So it's always we always building small plates, hot and cold. I like that because they're less expensive, and you know, for me, I like you know. You get a, a taste of everything too, sharing. You know. That's right. That's it's right. It's a good thing. Yeah, we like it. Muscles are done. Unbelievable. Well, that takes no time at all. I love this oven. I have to say, you know me. At the beginning of this, I was really nervous about this oven. You know, it's a real simple, simple method to cooking almost anything. I only thought you could make pizza. Grapes done. So that sizzle. Well, these ovens are known for their pizza, but anything that you can cook in a regular oven yeah. or on top of the oven, yep. you can cook right in here, but you can cook it in here better. The, the just flavor quicker. that the fire imparts mm -hmm. and the temperature of this oven, yeah. it's just, I love it yeah. as a chef. I really, really love it. So it's look at rustic. how beautiful it's this is. Rustic. Hi, Henry Kamasi here from Kamasi Masonry Supply, your home for hardscapes. With retail stores in Worcester and Charlton, we display everything from pizza oven and granite benches to natural stone and drivable grass. Our hours are 7 to 4, Monday through Friday, Thursday nights till 6, and Saturdays 8 to 12. And check us out on the web at kamasi.com, where you'll find coupons for our newest products that will help save you money on your next home project. Life is full of detours and roadblocks. Sometimes we need those speed bumps to determine our life's purpose. The best way to cope with change is to create it for yourself. Are you prepared to seize the opportunities? I'm Tom Ingrassia. My seminars, workshops, and individual coaching help you develop a roadmap to live into your dreams with vision, courage, determination, and passion. Full speed ahead, speed bumps and all. You believe it? Almost there. They're, they're loving it. They're loving the brick oven experience, Rico. <laughs> like I said, you can cook anything in this oven. And you know, here's the thing. By the time they're finished with the, with the mussels, mm -hmm. this will be ready to come out. And this, they, are, they already know this serves for dessert. Exactly. So I kind of gave them a heads up. The foodies fans are expecting a focaccia dessert pizza. Just going to spin this a little bit. Look at that. Wow. You know what I like about this? There's no cleanup. It cleans itself. There's no cleanup. It burns Any everything off, cleans itself. Yeah. Anything anything that spills in here, it just kind of gets absorbed right into I've the, the natural stone. I've actually worked with these ovens where I've actually dumped the whole pizza upside down on the surface really? of the oven. Yeah, it's and you just use it as a, well, as a heating element? <laughs> yeah, no, we have to rake the coals on top of it and let yeah. everything burn away. And then, you know, 10, 15 minutes later, we just sweep it off and it cleans itself. Oh boy, I love that. We're I done. Can't, I can't stand cleaning my kitchen. It's the one thing. Wow. Washing off the stove top, I hate it. 
cleans itself. Getting in between all the... Oh. How does that look? Rustic. <laughs> it smells great, it's though. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Some it people get great. afraid of the... Uh, the black edges, but that's the good stuff. No, that's the flavor. That's, that's the, the carbone. Stuff. That's the carbon. That's the flavor. That's what smells so nice throughout the whole kitchen right now. Exactly. So what is this served like? Do we cut it up? This, I would let it cool down a little bit because it is a bread. Okay. So I've let it cool down a little bit, and then okay. we're going to drizzle some uh, balsamic vinegar over the top. It's a mm -hmm. balsamic reduction, so it's very sweet. Mm -hmm. and will complement the grapes. And okay. You serve it as a bread at the table. How are they doing up there? How are they doing? They're loving. They're loving the food. Good, good. I'm exhausted, but they're loving the food. I continued to cook while you were away. Yeah, what's all this? I need some more pizza, some another frittata. I gotta pour you a glass of wine. Thank I can't you. I've been gone five minutes, just a little less, and you made all this stuff. Thank you. Unbelievable. Listen, thanks for helping me out, man. I would have been dead if you didn't show up. No problem, anytime. Hey, you see that guy over there? That guy is Joe, Joe Ventriglian. More in Italian, Ventriglia. This okay. is his house. He's oh. hosting the Foodies Fan Club party. Nice. Yep. I'm going to call Very him nice. over. I got, I got to bust his chops a little bit because he put me through hell today. Joey. Joe. Hey, Dominic. How are Ciao. you? Come va? Molto bene, grazie. Molto bene. <laughs> Listen, yeah. I want somebody is here. I want somebody to meet you, okay? But before I tell you, this guy saved me today. No thanks to you because <laughs> you gave me a heart attack. I showed up here thinking I was going to have gas cooktop to work with, which I can make all this stuff on. I show up and there's nothing but a brick oven. So I thought I was in big trouble. Luckily for me, I called Rico. This is Rico Giovanello. Piacere. Rico, piacere. This is Joe Ventrilli. Rico's the chef at the Cedar Street Grill in Sturbridge. He's terrific. He's a brick oven king of central New England. Knows everything about these ovens. So I was lucky he came out. Uh, but, you know, you should have told me. I didn't have a cooktop. I didn't have gas. I had only brick oven. I thought I was in trouble. Uh, sorry, I didn't tell you that broke just last night. So <laughs> yeah, it broke last thought. night. But so was my spirit <laughs> for about two hours. Listen, speaking of hours, it only took us like a little over an hour to make all this stuff. And he tells me that normally, you know, you need like three hours to make all this stuff on a gas top. So I was really kind of, matter of fact, I was going to ask you, like, what, if I wanted to put one in my house... Main thing I'm concerned about is like space. What, how much space do I need to put one of these in? Well, Dom, it, 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 you need something of somewhere around four, four by four square. Uh, the oven itself comes in as a kit, very easy to put together. Yeah. Actually, it looks like an igloo when you are putting it together. Oh, an igloo, right? Yeah, and, um, and then just basically you want to dress it up with whatever masonry type that you choose, whether it's brick or stone mm -hmm. or, or stucco. Um, wow. Mostly the product that, uh, that you see here is uh, locally from uh, our own Kamasi uh, and San Susi stone there. Oh, yeah, the guys in Worcester, right? In Worcester, I know, yeah. I know those guys. Kamasi, yeah. I, I got some really nice. I did it in my fireplace a long time ago, too. Yeah. That's right. Wow, yeah. you're going to come to my house and put one in. What, would you, you do give that? us your address? We'll be <laughs> right over there, Enrico. Piacere, moto. Listen, everybody had a great time, and everybody's ready because we, we wrapped up so early tonight. You know, everybody got done fast. The food came out one thing after the other. Pretty efficient. So we're all going out to Sturbridge to, to Cedar Street. We're going to have a Continue little nightcap. party, have a little nightcap. Absolutely. You want to come out with us? Whenever oh, I'd love to. All right. Some wine. We'll be right. Right. right over. You know where it is, right? Yeah, absolutely. All right. I'll see you in Sturbridge. Yeah. Ciao, ciao. Just clean up and yeah. I'll be there. I'll okay? see you at the restaurant. All right. Ciao.